pilot project of fog collection in the eastern escarpments of Eritrea. This is a new technology used to harvest water from fog and rainwater. Fog water collection has been utilized in many countries like Chile, Guatemala, Peru, Nepal, South Africa, Yemen, and Oman. Particularly in Chile, it has been used for domestic water supply and irrigation of vineyard using drip irrigation. The technology works as fog passes through the plastic mesh, the mini droplets of water within a fog are trapped by the triangular structure of the mesh and coalescence into big droplets of water and trickles down to a gutter. The system can collect as much as 50% of the humidity contained in a fog. Equally, during the rain season, the system can also collect water from the rainfall. In Eritrea, the technology has been introduced as a pilot project in the village of Arbarobo and Nafasi town located in the eastern escarpments. The two target villages have shortage of domestic water supply, particularly during the dry period. Fetching water becomes a burden for women and girls. One jerrycan weighs 20 kg and an average family needs 4 to 5 jerrycan per day. Every day they need to collect water for drinking, cleaning and other domestic purposes. A very exhausting and routine work especially for mothers and girls. Collecting rainwater is common practice during the rain season, but harvesting fog is something new for the Eritrean community. In Eritrea, there are literally countless spots where fog collectors could be installed. The fog season lasts from November to March. The wind pushes the white humid layer of air from the Red Sea across the mountains. However, wind doesn't always carry enough humidity for the harvest to be effective. That's why it's necessary to put test collectors in various locations in a blink to pick the promising spot. Using these test collectors, a maximum of 13 liters of water have been collected from one meter square of plastic mesh per day. The result was promising and thus, at the second stage, large fog collectors have been installed in the identified sites against wind direction. One large fog collector has an area of 40 meters square and there are totally 10 large fog collectors each in Arborovo and Nafasit. During fog period and rainy season, each large fog collector can harvest on average 200 to 250 liters of water per day. The harvested water first channeled to a sedimentation tank to settle its suspension before it is drained by gravitational force to the reservoir and finally to the distribution point. Water harvested from fog is proven to be clean and safe for drinking purposes.
the technology is cost effective and simple to be constructed with local manpower. Similarly, most of the construction materials are local available and the only material that needs to be imported from abroad is the plastic mesh. Therefore, the technology could be disseminated extensively in Eritrea to harvest the natural resource of fog and rainwater to provide clean and safe drinking water for domestic use and also for agricultural purpose in more efficient educational methods to contribute in elevating the food insecurity situation of the country. There are about 250 students that come from the villages of Durfo, Argolo, Shegrini, Mahenzi, Michwai, Arborobo, and Adona. In all these villages, there is acute problem of drinking water, and students usually bring water with small containers. Even the school, if need be, compelled to take water from the students. At this time, with folk project, the problem is solved and it looks highly productive. Right now, all the five water tankers, that is 15 meter cube, are full and started to overflow to the village water reservoir. The water is being used beyond the drinking purpose for cultivation of small vegetable garden. Of course, then we, may, we must have to make it adaptable technology so that it could be the cost could be minimized. But it's a situation where the average man on the on the on the neighborhood should be able to, to work it eventually. There will be more enrollment in, in schools, so the people are also eager to, to, to go to school. They want also to be more productive, so they, uh, I'm hoping that they will take the advantage of this. Finally, Vision Eritrea as an implementing partner would like to acknowledge Water Foundation from Germany and Forquest from Canada for sponsoring and disseminating the technology. Equally, the implementing partners, Water Resource Department, Administration of Zoba Makel, Northern Race Zone, and the Beneficiary Communities for being fully engaged during the implementation of the pilot project.